In this video tutorial we will take a look at how to summarize segments from texts and media files using the paraphrase function in MaxQDA. In paraphrases we can summarize individual sections of the data material in our own words. This way we can use paraphrases to open up our data material and lay a foundation for the creation of inductive categories. We find the paraphrase function in the analysis tab. It can be activated via this button here. We now see the paraphrase bar displayed on the right and the paraphrased segments appear in the text highlighted in green. Now we can create a new paraphrase by left clicking, selecting a segment and then releasing the mouse button. Then an editor window opens where we can enter our paraphrase. The new paraphrased segment is now also displayed in green. We can easily edit the paraphrase by double clicking on it in the paraphrase bar. Here we could also delete the paraphrase. Along with the document, we can also scroll through the individual paraphrases we have added so far. In MaxKDA 2022, we can also paraphrase media files, such as videos and audio recordings. For example, to summarize the topics in an interview. To do this, we simply activate the paraphrase mode in the multimedia browser using this button. Then we highlight a segment in the multimedia browser and click on this button here. Now an editor window opens where we can enter our paraphrase. Along with our paraphrases, Codes are also created in the list of codes. If we now activate these codes and some documents, the list of retrieved segments displays all segments in the activated documents to which paraphrases were added. We can now also use our paraphrases to develop codes. This function can be found here. This table lists all the paraphrases we have created so far in our project. By right-clicking on one of the paraphrases, we can now add a new code. Codes created from these paraphrases are displayed in a code system on the left side. We can also assign an already existing code to a paraphrase by dragging the paraphrase onto that code. We can also display the paraphrase matrix for different documents, document groups or sets. To do this, we simply drag the different documents, document groups or sets into this window here. The paraphrases that are in each document, document group or set are listed here side by side. Using the print document with paraphrases function, we can also print the document along with all the paraphrases we have added. 